Drop your cocks and grab your socks. To be fair, so are you though. Oh yeah, I'm, all, I'm like, hey. Nine times, again, nine times out of ten, the way that women react to a situation are due to completely underlying factors that we know that you are too dumb to really think about or understand or uh, really be conscious of because there are things that matter to us because of the fact that we have vaginas. And I understand that that does change some things biologically for us. Um, so when you have, when you're dealing with a situation uh, where your girlfriend or whoever has a friend that's trying to break you guys up, it's really important to remember, A, how is it that you're supporting your girlfriend in that situation? And how, are, how is it that you are kind of showing to her that you care about her and you want to help her? Oh, oh yeah, so women that have crazy best friends that are trying to break you up. It's really important to support your girlfriend through that because fighting with your best friend for a girl is devastating. It's terrible. It's, you know, I know that there was a reference made earlier to housewives of whatever. Uh, my boyfriend commonly refers to it as housewives of my butt. Um, I know that that is how important that TV show is to you, but it is life to us. And we know that going to lunch and absolutely not ordering any food and ordering like six glasses of Pinot Grigio in the morning is how we are going to solve all of our problems. So with that being said, the lead up, women are passive aggressive with men and they are just fucking aggressive with women. We will cut you down. We will tell you that your eyebrows are terrible, which is a really bad insult if you are a woman or gay. It's really, <laughs> we will say terrible things. I don't know how many times I told some of my friends that I hoped they get lupus. So there are some crazy things that can come out of your mouth when you're fighting with your best friend. So as your boyfriend, you really need support when you're going through something like that because you also need to know, is this nigga worth fighting for? Like, do I really, am I really worth getting into a fight with my best friend over this guy? B. Remember that when she's going to talk so much shit about her, about her best friend to you, and then she's going to go be best friends with her again. You don't tell her best friend any of the fucking shit that she said to you at all. Confidentiality is the key to trust. If she says anything to you about her best friend, never happened. Shut up. 